Hey guys, Chameleon.com here. Today I'm pretty excited. We have one of the best, if not the best, 35mm vintage camera ever produced. It is the Canon AE-1. And the reason I'm making this video is because it actually merits a video. Because in a couple of Google searches, the AE-1 comes up as not only the most affordable and easy to use for beginning with 35mm or analog cameras, SLR cameras, but... It comes up in another search for the best film cameras of all time, and the number one that was chosen is the Canon AE-1. Before I go any further, there's going to be links in the description below to make sure that you get the best price on your film camera, or camera in general, because we're going to have Amazon links, eBay links, and of course, be sure to check us out at chameleon.com, because we have so much DSLR and camera accessories, it is ridiculous. We have GoPro mounts and, you know phone mounts and DSLR camera bags and just so much stuff. So be sure to check us out today if you're looking to get camera and camera accessories. So with that said, I'm going to put this down for one second and then I'm going to get back into that. I am going to go through this entire manual and I'm going to go through the Canon FD. The Canon FD lenses from what I was seeing on some of these searches are some of the best lenses that you can get in uh, 35 millimeter cameras. I'm not a total... Um, photograph 35 millimeter guy, but I, I have heard the Canon FD lenses are amazing. So let me show you this really quick on these search results and what I believe would be a good choice if you're getting into 35 millimeter film. So of course, which is part of the reason we're making this video is the AE one comes up not only from cool material, but this is a different search, but for the, uh, Five film cameras that are affordable and easy to use for beginning analog photographer, also known as film photography. And the AE-1 pops up in that search as well. Now, I'm going to get into this cool one really quick. Because I want to give you a quick overview of this camera. And this is going to tell a lot about this camera before I go into the manual and go in depth. So one of the most well-known and widely, widely circulated 35mm SLR cameras ever made is the Canon AE-1. It has one of the most important seats at the table, manufactured from 1976 to 1984. So this camera was manufactured for almost a decade. That is extremely good. I know this isn't technically an electronic, but it is kind of consumer electronics, and that is a very good lifespan for a product. This camera helped bridge the gap between hardcore photo professionals and hobbyists. These rings are sturdy, and reliable and won't cost you an arm and a leg to get your hands on. Plus, Canon FD lenses, mentioned before, are incredible and famous in their own right and can generally be had on the cheap. Okay, you can say more affordable. Its younger brother, the Canon AE-1 program, whose notable advancements include a fully automatic mode and shutter priority, is also a great option for people looking to get into analog photography. Now, here's a couple of other notable mentions. You got the uh, Pentax K1000, the Leica M6, the Olympus M1. I've seen that camera before. Have not heard of the Canonet G3. Apparently, that's a good one, too. But we're going to be focusing on the AE-1. If you want to pause this and look at it, you can go ahead. I've heard of the Manola X700 before. That's a pretty well-known camera. Nikon FM2 apparently is another good choice, but those are some other good choices if you're looking into uh, getting into film photography. And part of the reason that people are actually getting back into film photography is think MP3 and, uh, you know, wave music formats versus vinyl records. People have basically found that in some aspects, film photography can actually be superior to digital photography. I'd be happy if you guys could educate the people about that in the comments below. But let's just look at this thing and show you the manual. And of course, this is a used one, but some stuff's gonna fall down, so bear with me. But it's, it's, this thing feels solid. It just feels good. It's got a nice wind up right here. It's got uh, some buttons and dials and changes and ISO switches and easily I guess you would say an easy eject lens. I don't want to mess with that right now. But it's got all the features of a good SLR camera, especially since this is the number one selling one. Now, here's what I'm going to do with this manual, if, you've, if you're just fast-forwarding to this. What I'm going to do with this manual is I'm not going to read out the whole thing, but I am going to 
go through each page for a couple of seconds. So if you're looking for this, and you're looking to actually get the information inside of here, this might help you guys out. So I'm going to make sure I go from the front page, and that fold, this even still has the fold out in it, my gosh. So here's a list of all of the um, switches, dials, buttons, what they do, aperture rings, accessory shoes. And I'm going to make sure you guys can get all the, I'm not going to read through all this, it's going to take, it, I would be looking at this for an hour. But I am going to make sure that you guys know everything you need to know about this camera. I'm going to make sure to flip through every page, too. I'm not skipping any pages, all right, guys? There's specifications in here. Picture size. And remember, if you need to pause on something, be feel free to pause and then go right back into the video. But once again... Okay. You know what? I don't want to ruin this. I'm not going to talk too much. I just want to go through this manual. How do we touch the neck strap? Rear dust cap, lens covers, how to care for your lenses. And remember, guys, I'm going to make sure that I don't skip any pages in this if you're looking for this thing. You're going to have yourself a virtual manual to this. And, you know, it, this was made in 1976 to 1984. So these manuals, you know, I don't, I'm not speaking forever, but, you know, they might not be that easy to come by at some point in history. So this might be a good reference point for someone. I'm sure it can't be that hard, but if you were looking for this, I want to help you guys out. EE lock pin, A mark, how to load the battery. This is technically an electronic. There, it is battery powered. I do have a. Uh, see how it goes in right there. Six volt, unique battery. How to check the battery. The shutter will not function without significant battery power. Okay. Interesting. So it's not a manual shutter. But that's probably a good thing. How to load film. You do that one more time. How to check the battery. How to load film. Uh, how to spool. Closing the back cover. Setting ASA film speed. Use of the memo holder. Film advance and shutter releases. Shutter button, shutter lock, frame counter. Operation for general photography. We're about halfway through, guys. Setting the shutter speed. You can set the shutter speed with this thing. This is a very well-made camera. Viewing and focusing. There's magnifiers and angle and angle finders you can get with this thing. Man, that is, you can tell this is from the 70s, my gosh. How to hold the camera. Composition, releasing the shutter, rewinding film. Uh, how to double check before shooting. Detailed operation of the AE-1 is actually... Oh, so these are chat. These blue pages are chapters. And um, I, like I said, I could talk about this camera all day, or I can just show you guys the manual that actually has specifications and all this stuff. So this is going to be telling you a lot more about this camera than I ever could, because this is coming from the manufacturer. And once again, guys, I know I already said this, but links in the description below for the most affordable cameras and accessories money can buy. Chameleon.com, Amazon.com.
eBay, also not a bad place to uh, get yourself some used camera gear. So be sure to check out the links below for discounts as well. I think some of those links actually provide you uh, promo codes automatically. Cancel a self-timer. There's a self-timer on this. It's a pretty impressive camera for 1970, you know, 1970s, 1980s. This is impressive. Manual diaphragm control. All chrome mount rings for lenses and stuff. We're almost done here. Pretty close, guys. Pretty close. Uh, changing the lens. Lens signal coupling. Aperture signal levers. Actual parts of it. Um, film plate indicator. Scales on lens. Aperture scale. Distance scale. Depth of field scale. Infrared index marks. We're almost done here, guys. We're almost to the end. Look at that. Accessories, care of the camera, maintenance, and miscellanea. One second here. This might be hard to find. Okay. Here's something about a flash. Okay. Next. Flash synchronization ranges. Canon power winders. Any shutter speed can be used. Something like that. We're almost done here, guys. Auto bellows. Data back A. Okay. I gotta fold this in. Yeah. And uh, here's a list of accessories that you can buy for your camera. Look at this thing. Jeez. Let me get that all in there so you guys can see it. You can pause that as needed. It's a lot of accessories you can get for this camera, my gosh. Some characteristics. Almost done. Care and storage of the camera. Maintenance, care of the camera, and then we got this, uh, I think I actually showed you this in the beginning, but this might be the other piece. Okay, that's basically it, guys. Um, on that note, chameleon.com is out. Be sure to check out the links in the description below. Pretty much know everything you need to know about it, the Canon AE-1. I recommend it, the internet recommends it, and apparently it's the best, if not one of the best, um... Actually, make the other way around. One of the best, if not the best, 35 millimeter cameras uh, ever made in the beginner to intermediate. And then they're saying some some people might even consider it an advanced camera. Let me know in the comments below. On that note, chameleon.com is out. Be sure to check out the links. And, of course, as always, peace. Hey, I almost forgot, and good thing I didn't forget completely, but I'm going to go through the FD manual as well. I'm just going to flip through it. You guys can pause it on your own and read. Let me make sure you got a good, uh, let's make sure you guys got a good, um, view here so you can read it. I'm going to have to go page by page, page by page on this is very small writing. Turn down the light a little bit too. Yeah, it's a lot better. Wow, so here's the selection of uh, FD lenses, and it looks like you could take a photo from a bug on a leaf to something in the stratosphere, my god. The need for lens interchangeability, you guys can figure that out. Here's that. Ooh, this is going to be another fun manual. you learn something too wow so you can see with um how a different lens actually really affects the uh angle of how you see things that's interesting 
Okay. Yeah, there's a lot. This is photography. There's a lot of stuff going on in photography, man. Perspective, depth of field, fish eye lenses. I think that's what's coming up next. This is basically a photography course inside of a uh, manual here. Focal length. Jeez, I don't even have to go to photography. You can base this is like a minor photography school just in this booklet. This is how Canon used to put stuff out, man, on their cameras. I'm not saying they don't do that anymore, but this is just such a beautiful color manual on like actual real world exam. I love this, man. I'm not even that much of a film. I'm more of a DSLR guy, but my gosh, this uh manual is just beautiful and how they describe photography let me know in the comments below if anyone's ever used um actually i'll have a link in the description below for shutterstock i don't know why i didn't mention that before if you guys want to start making money with your photography click the link in the description below Sorry, this thing's been in so much, guys, but I'm, I'm going to go a little bit quicker on this because most of this is just photos, I think. Actually, you know what? I, now I know why this is screwing up. I apologize. Hold on a second here. Just a second here, guys. I got to really, uh, I got to fix this. There we go. Okay. My bad. I'm not redoing this video, though. I'm just going to flip through. My apologies. Look at the detail they get on that bug in 1976. Mm -hmm. Zoom lenses. Tilt and shift lens. Extender FD2XA. Wow. This is all information on action. I'm going to flip back one more time because I kind of I kind of went fast on that. This is information about all their lenses. Every type, every kind, every millimeter. Impressive they put out a manual like this, my goodness. I can't imagine the amount of... Uh, time and effort this took to make all right that's pretty much it guys here's the canon lens table i'm gonna really zoom in on this come on focus speaking of camera speaking of camera lenses right all right well i hope that helps somebody um, here's the back of their manual. Based in, uh, well. All right, that's the Canon FD, Canon FD lenses manual. It's basically it. Links in the description below to make sure you get the most affordable prices on your film or DSLR cameras, whatever you want to do. And be sure to check out our other links for, uh, Shutterstock and Blackbox if you're trying to make money with your photography. Very great tools that I highly recommend. Chameleon.com is out. Peace.